Welcome, Swiss watch lover. This is Ken at Jazz Time. Today I'm introducing you to the Rolex Rose Gold Cosmograph Daytona with a chocolate Arabic dial. This Arabic dial is not on the actual website, so you get to see it first. This is a 40 millimeter with reference number 116505. This is the Rolls Gold version of the iconic Rolex Daytona, which originally came out in 1963. It has the Oyster Perpetual Cosmograph. It was designed for race car drivers, in fact, and race car enthusiasts, and allows you to check your speed over a given distance. And the retail price on this is only $37,450, drop in the bucket. It has a case and bracelet made of 18K rose gold and was manufactured, in fact, by Rolex's own gold foundries. That's right, they produce and manufacture, process their own gold all themselves. Everything is in huts. So take a look at that. Let me try opening it. And there you have it. The bracelet is a heavy style 18K rose gold bracelet. It has the full uh, solid links, not like the old style hollow ones. That's one of the big differences with this model versus the 1990 models or the older ones. As you can see here, you see on the edge, you don't see any holes in this bracelet. Well, that's the solid end links. Well, anyhow, this watch is water resistant up to 100 meters. Not that you'll be going down that far, but make sure you keep these uh, screw down uh, crowns screwed in. Anytime you go into water and you don't actually use it when you're in the water, okay? Because water will actually flood inside it. So what I'm going to show you now is what you should do if you want to use it, but you got to do this on land. So you unscrew the top, you unscrew the bottom. You see the second hand right in the center. When I press it, oh, it's not wound. This is another thing. You got to actually wind the watch because it's an automatic movement. So it's not going to be able to uh, have the power reserve if you don't wind it. So what you see me doing here is winding it and you can wind it about 30 times and the coil will start to show some resistance when it does show that resistance that's about time to stop so that's going to wind it i'll tighten it back up and i'll press the top screw down button and you see how the second hand in the center is moving okay and once that goes around fully one time then the minute hand which is to this sub dial to the right it'll pop over once. And once that goes around 60 times, this hour hand over here on the left, it'll pop over one time. And so this can do elapsed time up to 12 hours. And so you're probably wondering what the center subdial is. The center subdial is the second hand that's moving all the time, when, even when you stop this stopwatch. Okay, so <clears throat> while you're taking a look at that, and I'm gonna show you one other cool thing about this watch is take a look at the back side and the difference in the gold models, you see those engravings and the upper left hand corner says 750 and in the upper right hand corner, you see that's a, uh, it's really hard for me to see. I think it's hard for you to see as well, but it's like a, either a St. Bernard or a Rolex insignia. Let's see here. You see that? Okay, and by now, the second hand has popped over, and you see this subdial on the right-hand side? The minute hand is already moved over one. So that's how it works, and if you press this upper right-hand button here, it'll stop it. The lower left-hand button will restart it, and you can redo that over and over. All right, now I'm going to try this thing on. Get an idea of what it looks like on your wrist. And there you go. 37450 buys you this, but you can get it a lot cheaper at jazztime.com. We offer the lowest price, and we have free shipping, a one-year warranty, and we guarantee excellent customer service. Check us out at jazztime.com.